Hello MCU fans, today is going to be a teaser video for my year-end wrap-up in the MCU, particularly for 2023. I do this each year, a lot of these are really fun videos people seem to enjoy, uh, so I'll be dropping a new video every two to three days all the way throughout the month of December. So let's take a look at what we have ahead. So we'll have the unanswered questions in the MCU. There are a ton of them. You will not believe how many open questions there are. But we'll try to guess where they may be answered in the future. And believe it or not, some questions have been answered in 2023. So we'll do a quick review of the things we did get answered from last year. We'll do a state of heroism in the MCU. There are actually 78 active heroes in the MCU. 78. Oh my word. <laughs> so we'll look at where they're located. Uh, what their current status is, uh, when they were last seen in the MCU timeline, and where we think they'll show up next. And then we'll do a summary of where they're located across, well, the galaxy, across the universe. Well, even across many universes. So it's pretty cool. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, then we have the state of villainy. Oh my, this one's always interesting because there are many, many opinions on the state of villainy. I get so much feedback on this video, and I love it. It's great. But yeah, people are constantly debating which villains are dead, which villains are alive, and if they are alive, are they on probation, are they reformed, or are they truly still villains? And of course, we have lots of variants showing up every day. So that one's always fun. We'll also look at the heroes and loved ones that we've lost over time. Uh, so it'll be looking at heroes, family, friends, public servants, etc. anybody doing their job to help others. We'll also do a ranking of all 47 titles. There's 47 MCU entries now. That is crazy. Yes, that even includes I Am Groot, both seasons one and two. The way I look at I Am Groot is it's kind of like the watermark, meaning it's it's nothing special, but it's fun. It's not bad. It's not good. It's just, it's just, it's just fun. So if you rank below I Am Groot, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. And yes, there are several entries below I Am Groot. So yeah, we'll look at uh, giving points to each entry based on their heroes, their villains, their story. And then I've been told there just aren't a lot of Jeopardy fans. So I'm going to get rid of Potpourri and change it to bonus. Plus, it was tiring to keep saying Potpourri like 47 times. But anyway, bonus is some extra points for maybe uh, really good music, an awesome fight scene, uh, maybe awesome CGI, special effects, etc. Then we'll look at phase five as a whole. How is it going? How is it, how is it going? Uh, you know, we'll have seven entries in phase five by the end of 2023. So we're not going to look at the specific entries as much as some of the overall themes and concepts. Uh, do I like where it's going? Uh, would I change things? Those type of things. I'll probably really look at the whole multiverse saga, in fact, so may even pull in some concepts from phase four as well. But in particular, how is phase five going and, and where do I think it should go as we go into 2024? Then we're going to look at the upcoming Phase 5 and Phase 6 slates. This right here that you're looking at, this is what I presented last year at this same time. Now granted, this is just Phase 5, so these are dates that should have been pretty solid. Oh my word, I think only two things on this list came out when we thought they would. That would be Quantum Mania and Guardians of the Galaxy. Everything else has shifted, in some cases as much as a year. Wow. Now, granted, we had a writer's strike in there, so that definitely affected some things, but I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So yeah, we definitely need to look at the new and updated slate for phase five and also for phase six. Of course, phase six is mostly a guess, but it's fun to try to figure out what it might look like. And then, of course, we'll close out the year with a breakdown and review of What If Season 2. Now, I haven't decided if I'll do a video for every single episode. I mean, it is an episode a day for nine days in a row. Oh, my word. Uh, I may try to do that, but it kind of depends on how significant I feel the episodes are. But I guarantee at least a few uh, videos throughout. So let me know what you think. What, what would you like to see? Uh, but it's just kind of hard to guess since we haven't, haven't seen the show yet. Uh, also, this isn't necessarily every video. There may be other fun things I drop in that don't have anything to do with year-end closeout, but definitely these videos, I promise, on, on a basis of every two to three days at the latest. And then also, don't forget, we do have Discord. There are now a 1,000 members on Discord. What on earth, right? <laughs> 
Oh, my word. So lots of fun things we do. Here's an example of some of the upcoming events. These dates are obviously subject to change. They'll have them on the server. I just grabbed this latest uh, list from Robbie. Uh, but yeah, we do all kinds of watch alongs and fun things. And there's also activities and events, uh, as you see here. The what if pitches contest is really cool. I love that. <laughs> and the holiday icon contest in the lower right hand corner. Oh, man, that, there's some scary icons. They, they took, um, in some cases, took my logo uh, or my uh, image and, uh, and made it Christmassy. And they're scary. They're really scary. Anyway, we'd love to have you join. Uh, I will leave a pinned comment so you can join the Discord if you'd like. Also, if you don't mind, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more content, and we will all continue to enjoy the ever-growing, ever-changing Marvel Cinematic Universe.